Time now for our Defending the First, where we expose the enemies of the First Amendment, free expression, and free thought. Well, you all know Ben Shapiro. If you don't, where have you been? He's become one of the nation's leading figures in the effort to preserve free speech, especially on campus. He's also been the frequent target of leftists who are trying to shut down his speech. What's the latest attempt? I was waiting for this. Okay, this is a campaign now to blame Ben Shapiro for inciting a deadly terror attack on a Canadian mosque last year? We welcome back to The Angle Ben Shapiro, the editor-in-chief of The Daily Wire. And he looks so unassuming and... Like, Ben, I don't know, what do you weigh, 150 pounds? I mean, you're, you're like yeah, a, in about, shape. Yeah, about 165. I'm okay, well, you, come but, on. But I'm saying, like, you, you don't look like all that intimidating. I mean, you, you write stuff and you go on TV, but explain how you are, are allegedly involved in inspiring this horrible attack uh, on a mosque because you, you, you made comments about Islamic terror in the past and it was all yeah. stitched together. So there's this evil piece of human crap who shot up a mosque last year, and this evil piece of human crap happened to be somebody who had seen some of my tweets on Twitter as prosecutors found. Now, he'd also seen tweets from people like Brett Baer. He's seen tweets from you. He's seen tweets from a bunch of different people. But it was, he, I guess my account was the one that he had viewed the most. Now, I have 1.4 million Twitter followers, so I guess the idea from the left is that if somebody views enough of my tweets, they're inevitably going to become a terrorist. Weird that I don't have a spate of enormous terrorism across the country thanks to my Twitter following. But of course, none of this is real. I mean, when, when Bernie Sanders, a Bernie Sanders supporter, shot up a congressional baseball game, people on the right did not say this was Bernie Sanders' fault. Bernie Sanders incited well, the we violence. We, said, we play this fair, is a crazy though, person. Yeah, we play yeah, fair, and they don't care about those rules. So what their goal is, and this is why we bring you on for this series, their goal is to intimidate other conservatives using you as an abject lesson. We're going to use you as an example. Don't speak out on these issues because if you do, it, we don't care. We could be in, you know, it doesn't matter if it's in Canada or Australia or anywhere else. We are going to brand you a hater. We're going to try, try to stop your livelihood, stop you from making money, stop you from getting speeches. That's what this is about, is it not? So it's this malcontent in Canada who's, who's kicking up a fuss. Uh, we've seen it with the Southern Poverty Law Center, with their obscene list of, of Islamic, you know, what is it, Islamophobes or whatever. I'm on that. I think I'm on that list. Ridiculous. But th they do yeah, well, it I mean, to shut down speech. No question. If you're going to talk about the SPLC, by their same logic, they're responsible for the attack on the Family Research Council a few years back, since the guy who shot up the Family Research Council was a, was a follower of the SPLC and used their, apparently, their, their, their map of hate groups as a, as a target. So all of this is really dangerous, and all of it is leading to an attempt in the United States by people on the far left to imitate what we've seen in places like Britain, in places like Canada, to actually shut down dissenting points of view if those dissenting points of view do not meet with the politically correct standards of the left. So the fact that I've tweeted out about the, de the evils of radical Islam, and I cut a video talking about the percentage of Muslims worldwide who may believe radical things based on polling data from the Pew Research Center. Now, this apparently was enough to blame me for a terrorist attack that has nothing to do with me that I have obviously denounced that was, as I say, committed by an evil piece of human debris. But again, all of this is nonsense yeah. generated by the left specifically in order to shut down free speech. That's their goal. All right. Uh, Kanye West. I recently noticed this Ben Shapiro clip uh, making the rounds uh, on Twitter and finally got around to uh, replying to it now. Um, the, 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 uh, it, it, it jogged my memory on all the controversy uh, over the, um, the mosque shooter in Canada, uh, Alexander Bissonnette. Um, and, and sort of how uh, that was one of the first cases in, in recent memory of a mass shooter where they actually started um, examining where he was getting his, his online news from and where, where, where he could have actually formed this belief. And uh, uh, particularly um, in the past, um, they would only really do this to Muslim uh, uh, terrorists, which is to you know, oh well, what websites did they go to, and what what YouTube accounts were they watching? As a matter of fact, if you know, if I remember correctly, because I was around during that 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 post 9/11 era, it was very regular for uh, CBS or or uh, NBC Nightly News 
to sort of uh, call out, you know, oh, look at these, look at these uh, websites that these uh, uh, Al Qaeda uh, terrorists were on, and and how they were influences influenced, and how they're being radicalized by these these um, uh, extreme is Islamic preachers online, and um, so that was the first time that I remembered. Uh, uh, the 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 press, the mainstream press, actually sort of making the correlation between right wing mainstream talk and and uh, in real life terrorism, the implications of being fed a narrative, being fed hatred, being fed fear, being fed paranoia for profit. And how that affects people, and how you know the right-wing media sphere has has always, and particularly in the post-internet, post-cable news era, sort of wanted to have it both ways. Which is they they talk about how important free speech is, and they want to reach people and and transform their views on the world, and you know a big wins in the battle of ideas, and and simultaneously when someone actually comes to them and goes, you did affect people, you did transform minds, you did. You did affect the real world. Your speech had massive implications and, unfortunately, uh, tragic implications. Then, when the responsibility comes, then they, then they, uh, oh well, you know, it's just words. Words, words are harmless. Words, you know, uh, 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 speech, speech is, is is innocuous. Nothing I said could have influenced this person to buy fifty automatic weapons and then go shoot up. A mosque, even though I told him, uh, even though I cycled the word Second Amendment as an Islamic terror into his frontal lobe uh, 300 times a day. No, no, I mean, there's no, you know, what you're talking about when you talk about right wing media is conditioning. If you look at the numbers on Fox News and the extent to which the average Fox News viewer just sits there and takes it to the dome, just straight into the head, this evil radiation of uh, uh, talking points about who immigrants are and who who uh, Muslims are and who black people are and who the police are and they just you know hours and hours of this same poisonous toxic horseshit and again it, it's capitalism playing out with with Fo Fox News is is news as capitalism it is it is, um, uh, you know, not to say that CNN should be off the hook or, or that um, NBC should be off the hook, but those channels, those channels are more civic-minded and are more concerned with political outcome. Uh, 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 Fox is is marketing. Fox is an industry-related uh, 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 network um, in in a specific way to the right wing. Like it, it, it's 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 an advertising. Uh, 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 platform for the NRA. It's an advertising platform for companies that want lower taxes. It's just an advertising platforms. It, excuse me. It's it's selling commercials within commercials, explicit commercials, and then the programming is implicit implicit commercials. The only thing that I can really compare Fox News in particular with, because of such the, the poor quality of their journalism, is those interviews on infomercials where um, they ask a bunch of leading questions in order to pretend there's some kind of discussion about the product but both sides of the both sides of the equation are, are selling you the product um, so that's not to say that other platforms aren't commercial and that's not to say other platforms aren't forms of corporate propaganda but but uh, Fox is the most naked um, huckster in, in in that tier of media and and that includes their online presence um, so Ben Shapiro is 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 a perfect uh, modern conservative talker because again and again you notice that he always he always talks about he talks about free speech but it's always it's always specifically about conservative speech you know so 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 it, it's fine you know if you look at if you look at uh, right wing free speech activists most of their videos and most of their content is about being mad about what the left says not what the left does. But what the left says, so they're not interested in speech for li liberal professors. They're not interested in the speech of Antifa protesters. They're not interested in the speech of 
um, uh, women who uh, protest for abortion rights, they're not uh, interested in the speech of left-leaning uh, journalists that don't agree with them or undermine their talking points about the, the coming scourge of Mexican migrants and, 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 and Muslim refugees. They are just very concerned with, and again, it's not even about law because there is no legal suppression of speech in the United States of America. It's just not possible. You can't do it. You cannot make laws or take any kind of legal action to silence anyone. So all you can do here is boycott um, their employer or boycott their platform um, but, uh, you know, uh, marketplace involves, uh, you, you know, when we're talking about marketplace, uh, for example, um, if you own a restaurant and then people boycott, they don't want to come buy your food. Well, they've, they've, they've taken your ability to make money from that restaurant, but they didn't take your ability to be a restaurant tour. You can go open another restaurant and sell your food there. So the, this idea of permanent deplatforming. Uh, based on moral outrage is just not substantiated especially considering the massive spectrum of right-wing outlets these people reach millions upon millions upon mil when you when you factor in their internet audience and you factor in their um uh, 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 cable audience and you factor in their broadcast audience and you factor in the university tours because again What's funny to me, this thing about like Dave Dave Rubin is giving a bunch of college talks. He's a to he's been since this bullshit around the Gamergate era began, and Dave Rubin's been getting censored. He's been perpetually on speaking tours about how he can't speak, and so like it's the same thing with 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 uh, Ben Shapiro in this interview. His whole thing is that people are shutting down his free speech while he speaks publicly on the most viewed cable news network on American television. It's a, it's a sham. It's a hustle. You know what I mean? It's, 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 again, and again, that's not a surprise to any of the viewers of this channel, but it's just kind of like, it's fascinating to me how capitalism informs all this stuff of like, you put in the token, you got the free speed talking point. You put, you, you put in the token and, and Shapiro will change the conversation from the substance of what you're saying to the your right to say it. Free speech is a settled conversation in the United States of America. All that's left to discuss is what people are using that right for.